Well, ain't that a pretty sight? Engines aren't supposed to have their shrouds off. I'll show you why. Notice, spark plug wire isn't hooked up. I got my fuel pump hooked up. So how come this thing isn't running? Well, I don't think coils are supposed to have strange things of goop coming out. And I had a uh, key switch on there, which I got from the MTD itself. And something had to have been hooked up wrong, or the switch, something was off in it, and something didn't work right. Because the way the switch was working, and I had booster cables on it from my John Deere. And it sent positive energy through my coil wire. Or, well, it sent positive energy or electricity through the coil wire. Well, that backfeeded into the coil, and unless the engine was running, it didn't really affect anything. But what I noticed is it never had, the battery would never charge. And I, and it, now it's too late because now I gotta go and get a new coil. Haven't even called in for pricing, but I had literally purged the, uh, line with gas and I was and I just tightened that up getting ready to throw this on and all of a sudden I'm just seeing smoke just pluming through you know pluming right through there you know and it's like oh my god so now I gotta go get a new coil they lasted 14 years and now it's dead because this is a engine that was built in 2000 and it's done but uh uh, David, I'm, you know, I'm going to call you by your actual name. I'm not going to say your last name, but uh, I literally just gotten the fitting in, form a gasket it. I'm thinking about maybe putting more form a gasket on around there, keep it from coming loose, but it was a snug fit. I came in through the side, not the bottom. And it was, I mean, I was ready to work. I mean, I got my choke hooked up. you can see and what I got to do is if I got to choke it I just tweak it like that you know or I could put an actual choke cable in there but I don't have one at the moment but I'm thinking that's gonna have to wait until I get a new coil and honestly I can live with this you know but <sighs> well it's sad I mean I, it's ready to run just no spark now cuz that coil is fried because I'm pretty sure the winding has uh, burned so now it's well scrap Jeremy want some more scrap I'll give you a coil <laughs> I mean I could take it to a, a friend who does windings I mean he's done this for a long time I'm not gonna say any names but I could send it out and have him rewind it but you know that to have it sent out and all that you know it'd be the same as just buying a new one so <sighs> well i guess this is where the uh, 16 horse is at because i mean it's ready to go i mean there's fuel in there and this just 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 frustrates me you know i mean i get it so far i mean i mounted up a three gallon gas tank I mounted up a fuel pump, and it does work, because I, when I was spinning the engine over, I seen it purging. You know, it was bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up, to, you know, I got it to here, to where it'd be just a few turnovers, and it'd pop right off. Well, that's not going to be the case now, and the case now is whether or not I can get this thing started up again. Because, I mean, this is just frustrating. Oh, God. Yep, it's going to puke oil all over if I turn it over like that. I forgot. I don't have my dipstick in because I just ripped it off. So now I'm in the middle of actually wiring everything up. And I'm going to use a toggle switch kill. Of course, I can't kind of figure out how this thing goes. I think it goes like this, you know, on off you know it says grip warmer but that's not in a sharpie can't take out so I'm gonna also wire switch to where when I hit the switch which is gonna be wired through here it's gonna have power 
you know, I wire it to this wire going to the switch. When I flip the switch on, it'll get this power, which means my carburetor solenoid will have power. And then I can then start it. Well, not for a while, I guess. It's not going to run. And I'm just, you know, I mean, this, this is just bugging me now. I mean, you get so far, and then you can't go any further. I mean, I mean, <laughs> solenoid's good. I mean, everything's good. It's ready to roll. And I wired it, you know, against some rules. I mean, I'm using house wiring for it, but, you know, this takes 120 volts, and I'm sending 12, so it should live. I'm... I just don't know where to go now. I mean, this this is frustrating me. I'm using a Makuni dual outlet pump. I got two of these when I got the snowmobile motor, so that's okay. It's looking a little pinkish because I think there's transmission fluid in this. I can't remember for sure. Maybe some other junk. I can't remember, but it'll get clean because it 